Okay, so it's been a day for FT7s today, and um, finally got this one uh, up and running. <laughs> a couple of little funny ones with this one. Um, no Chinese uh, transistors, so uh, this one was a little bit easier to um, uh, to deal with. Uh, this one was suffering for some board contact issues more so uh, than anything else. Um, the um, ability for it to um, sorry to um, transmit was uh, remarkably low. And I was um, actually I was having a look at my uh, brother-in-law's site, uh, Terry VK Five TM, and uh, uh, if you ever want to look at some pretty good stuff, actually Terry VK Five TM. Um, he's sort of my ex-brother-in-law, but we still call each other brother-in-laws. Long story, but <laughs> we both ended up uh, <laughs> divorced. But uh, that's okay. Um, he's a great mate of mine, and, uh, uh, and he does a lot of kit, bits and pieces as well. So anyway, look up vk5tm.com uh, for more information because, uh, uh, look, he's smarter than me. He always has been. Uh, no question about that. Anyway, uh, on to the dumb things I can do, which is get this FT7B running finally. And Terry, uh, by the way, it was your thing I was reading. It sort of clicked me, uh, made me click, sorry, onto, um, yeah, yeah, we'll give those contacts a clean and see what they do and uh, just reseeded it all and uh, she came good so good all right so uh, i'm on 7.1 megs at the moment um, now as you remember the ft7b was the uh, mrf 433 version uh, twin mrf 433 so you got about 50 watts out of them um, and uh, so far i'm so excited that it actually transmits and receives uh, that i haven't actually checked powers or anything so you're going to check powers with me but for the moment one two one two oh, yeah, that, that really is good I've got a mic cord that's a bit stuffed. Okay, that's my mic cord. <laughs> one, two, one, two. As I said, we learn as we go. Uh, <laughs> that mic cord's a bit average. I'll just see if I've got another AC mic. I'm sure I have. Hang on, two ticks. So the, for the purpose of this test, uh, this old upside down almost head Yasu uh, YD-844 came in handy. I just grabbed that from the other room. Okay, but it also gives me the lock bar, which is kind of handy. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, VK3, Charlie, Mike. Well, I suppose I don't need a call sign on, um, on a dummy load. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Let's have a look at the power output and just see what we've got. Ah, oh, probably just peaked about 40 to 39 or something. 47, 48, okay. Um, I'll go to one, two, let's have a look here. Uh, one, two, no, no, sorry. Putting the right, um, nice thing there. Okay, just, it did peak over 50 watts then. All right. Okay, so getting, you know, 50 watts, uh, which is good. And does it receive? I know it does, to be honest. I, I quickly just threw the generator on before. Let's have a look. But how well does it receive? All right. Adjust the right controls helps a lot too. Okay, so let's go down a bit here. 0.5 a microvolt. Really nice. Actually, really nice. I wonder if it'll go a little bit lower. So we've got 0.5 there. Uh, down. 0.156 still, still hearing it. All right, what about? Oh, just losing it at 0.494, so 0.05 of a micro. Uh, sorry, 0.0494. So um, 0.05 of a microvolt. Just you wouldn't call that. I can just hear it in the background, but but certainly 0.156 and 0.5 hearing well. Actually, not doing too bad at all. Um, Good on you, Terry. I like the ones where I can just, you know, clean boards up and not have to sit here playing with rubbish. <laughs> I.e. anyone that hasn't seen the um, the FT7, the little simple lower powered one. Uh, a little bit of an issue with some um, output transistors which were from China. And um, yes, they're terrible. Uh, they're, they're not going to work. So we've just ordered some new ones at the moment. So uh, probably be a couple of weeks before we get those in. All right. Anyway. Looking pretty good. I might just chuck an antenna on. The wrong antenna, but we'll see how it goes. Thought we'd have a little look on 10 metres since it's a 10 metre antenna. And the beacon was coming through. It's just coming through. It's having a bit of trouble hearing it. 
But um, here we go again. So it's a VK4 beacon. Don't know if we can hear the um, VK2. Uh, no. And nothing on the VK5, so. Oh, it's still not bad. So I've just taken it up to uh, 28,490 and uh, on upper sideband. And bear in mind, this was the model that had AM uh, and CW and obviously sideband. Also had the 10ABCD where the FT7 uh, was missing that. Um, but uh, had a bit of a quick look just to see how far off frequency it was. And it was pretty close actually. One, two, one, two. Sorry, I'm about 490 there. One, two, three, four, five. Or we're seeing it on 490 on the 950 SDX. One, two, one, two. But uh, yeah, that's that's going well. Um, VK3, Charlie Mike, uh, on antenna actually, uh, VK3CM, anybody hearing us uh, out there? VK3CM 28490. Just see if anyone was uh, possibly on the frequency, you never know, might respond. But overall, um, look, this is this is going to be an okay FT7, It's it's got some really good signs. Um, we still, unfortunately, we're going to have to spray the covers on this one. Um, I did have a spare set of covers, I was silly. Um, well, they weren't mine. If it was somebody else's radio, I probably couldn't have stolen those anyway. But, um, <laughs> uh, but oh, well, I could have actually. I suppose I could have bought it, changed the covers. Yeah, anyway, semantics. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're just a little bit sort of average, the covers. The front's not too bad. Actually, the front's quite acceptable. Uh, so um, uh, we're going to have to... Uh, we've got the match for this colour, so it's just a matter of getting it looking like, you know, original. The other thing we've got that we've got to put on um, is this little fella the Yaesu YC7B. Now, um, great, uh, except for one thing, and it's not a problem, we'll get it all converted over. Can't show you it working at the moment, cause uh, six pin plug, and on the back of the FT7B, they have a seven pin plug, so I'm just gonna source the wiring diagram for that. And you can bet I haven't got a seven pin DIN plug in stock, I'll probably have to go pick one of those up too, not one I use a lot. Loads of fives, um, actually, loads of five so I was going to say I don't have too many other uh, dins lying around but um, the YC7B was always a, a great uh, let me just turn this generator off sorry um, great uh, option for the FT7 uh, series and um, thanks very much to uh, Tom my old mate JDW105 in uh, South Australia um, it's a beautiful looking unit mate really is and as we talked about yeah we'll get that um, wide over no probs um, I'm just uh, having a look at a couple of things on the net uh, today actually and I'll um, just have a work out the wiring diagram and uh, we'll be uh, cooking with gas. Much easier to change the plug on the YC7B than it is to get into the back of an FT7 and change that um, socket that's for sure so we'll go that way keep it original hey. Anyway so that's the FT7B um, great old radio they really are um, this one was a you know a somewhat easier one to get up and running um, compared to you know uh, some of them can be right um, very painful let's call it um, and uh, you know and once again as you saw from the last video previously um, be very wary of uh, you know some of the Chinese uh, output transistors uh, be, you know what be very wary of a lot of the Chinese everything um, in semiconductors they're just you know there are honest traders out there as Bob 7RX has found he's, he's got some good supply of, uh, from different people uh, which is great um, but there's some awful ones too so um, I think we should make up a list actually and uh, maybe that's something to head towards um, to put in the notes file of uh, some of these videos of when you're sourcing parts you know but uh, I'll get on to Bob and, and get uh, some sorted. I've actually uh, sourced some uh, for that FT7 locally here uh, well in, within Australia for now so I'm willing to pay the price I don't care as long as they're working uh, but we'll have a look at getting an ongoing supply overseas I'm sure. All right, 73s from VK3CM or JDW, Jack Daniels Whiskey 229. And um, thanks for having a look at the old FT7B. She's a uh, great old clunker. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll give it another burst on air uh, when we've got the YC7B connected to it. So you can see that actually running. It, it makes it a much more accurate, um, you know, no guesswork on the analog. It really does help so much. So we'll keep you updated with that. All the best, 73s, VK3CM.